Hi everybody and welcome back to The Upper Room. Last week I was talking to one of my Protestant friends at work and we had a bit of a debate. I used to be Protestant and there's a reason why I converted to the Catholic faith. I, as I laid them all out for him, I'm saying these things as he is lacking and the truth is he is. All Protestants are lacking something, as was I. That's why I converted to the Catholic faith. That's why I converted to Christ's church. All the other churches are heresies. They're all thing. They're all other religions trying to attack God's church that He built and the apostles built. So why would I say that? Well, because the disciples in Christ didn't build at those churches. A man did, and they got their doctrine from the Catholic Church, took it, and made their own religion. And now we've all, now we've all believed in that lie, as I once did, before Christ called me to the Catholic Church, because of all the sacraments, because of all the truth that's involved in it. Yes, Protestants are lacking. They don't have a priest to forgive them of their sins in that sacrament. Whether they believe it or not, they're still carrying those sins around unless they haven't sinned since their baptism. And on top of that, they don't use any sacramentals, which means they have no way of defending themselves to the devil or any other demonic evil spirits that try to bother them. And they may say, well, I've never had any evil spirits try to bother me or I've never had any of these issues uh, in, before. Well, yeah, because you believed in the lie and the devil's not going to attack something that's already dead. He's going to leave it alone. You should be looking at what's under the most attack most often. Look at everything from the Vietnam War, all the killings that are going on in the Middle East. Thousands of Christian brothers and sisters, Coptic uh, Christians have been murdered last year. All of them pray the rosary. All of them uh, believe in Mary, believe in Jesus, believe in his church and the sacraments and the Eucharist and confession and all those things. And they're constantly under attack. That's what the devil wants to destroy. The truth. He wants to snuff it out from the rest of the world. If you're part of a religion that isn't constantly under attack, then you're probably the religion that has believed into the lie that the devil has spun onto this earth. That's what the Protestants are lacking. That's why I became Catholic. I needed weapons to defend myself, sacramental weapons. Items can be blessed by priests who have the power from God and his authority here on earth to bless these items for the power of God to work through to help protect us from evil spirits here. The rosary and several other sacramentals are used as weapons of faith. How do we know this? Well, St. Paul used to bless handkerchiefs and aprons and have them taken to people. Jesus at times even used his own spit and used mud from the ground to, to heal people. John the Baptist even used water to cleanse people in, the, in a water baptism. So we can't say that sacramentals do anything or just pick and choose the ones that work and say all the rest are, are nonsense. It's not true. Jesus specifically gave us priests here on earth. The 12 were priests and they passed that gift down to their priests and so on and so forth to the priests that we have today. The disciples created the Catholic Church. That's Christ's Church because the person who started it was Jesus. No one else started the Catholic Church. It was Christ. And all the other denominations of Christianity split off because of Martin Luther and got many of his followers to believe in as well, convincing many and, uh, to attack Christ's Church. So if you're a part of another religion, or another denomination of, of Christianity besides the Catholic faith. Just know that every time you go out and evangelize, you're trying to take people from Christ's church. Please come home to the right church, to the church that God created, so you can put your efforts towards saving souls for the right purposes, instead of helping scatter all of our brothers and sisters about away from sacraments that could actually save their lives through Christ's grace and his church. And please recognize that you are lacking. Thanks again for watching The Upper Room. I'm Jared. See you again next week.